Good day, people. Um, by now, you know who it is. Your boy, Hans. Um, just wanted to address a couple quick issues. Uh, um, you know, we have the After Freeness album out now on the new website, audibleartgallery.com. Getting a lot of great reviews, good responses, and all of that. But there's also a lot of controversy surrounding me currently. Um, some of it due to my own doing and some due to other people. So that's what this video is about clearing up um, those issues. So firstly, for some background, <clears throat> over the years we've had a few hip-hop shows on the radio in Trinidad and Tobago from The Grind, hosted by Chromatics, then hosted by Timstar. I think there was another one that Jace had. And now they have what's called the Hip Hop Show on Boom, which is hosted by Pun and somebody named Chump. Right? And um, that takes place on a Monday from midnight to 3 a.m. So the real boss behind the show is really um, Matthew Dyson as a promoter who has a history of promoting shows like Reggae on the Bay and Reggae on the Avenue. So he's more known in the Reggae circle, he's a DJ etc as well. Um, but he has thrown his support behind this hip hop show and we'll get into other um, issues with that later on. However, the case is, the hip hop show has been on for a couple months now and they've interviewed certain artists and then they decided to have a live event featuring and showcasing these specific artists. Right? That event took place over the long weekend on Sunday, last Sunday, which would be um, what, the 31st, something like that, I can't remember. Right? The day before the holiday. And I was specially invited by somebody who helps in the organizing of that show. And so I decided, you know, I'll turn up, see what's going on. I knew in advance what the cast of the show was, you know. So, you know, going to mix matters. I knew that Spooner would be performing at that show. And I came to the show, specially invited by myself. I met the boss of the show, Matthew Day, and at the door. And he said, hey, you see St. Anne's, aren't you? You're the doctor. When you're coming on the show. And I, of course, told them well, I could only come on the show when invited. Anyway, he asked me if I had anybody else coming. I listed two people and I went up the stairs by myself and I saw who I saw, everybody, you know. I'm known within the hip-hop community and therefore I was greeted by several people from Chromatics to Frost Blaze to Make It Happen to some of the organizers of the show, Macasmiastic Entertainment, Mike Wise from South, Joe Black from South, several people and we was just there liming by the side of the stage. <clears throat> now, a key thing here is a partner of mine who I had listed at the door, he now came. I came to the show with my flash drive because you know, I have an album that I had been promoting over the preceding days before that event on social media and therefore I had the whole album on a flash drive and since my partner knew DJ Pun personally he spoke to DJ Pun to allow us to play two songs off of the album as promotion during the course of the night at some point. We didn't know when they were going to do it, but we made the request. Cool, minding our own business. So, uh, you know, Schooner performed. I went to the front and I recorded on my phone just to make myself seen because, you know, there's no fear factor there. They are not scary. They don't frighten us with all they talk about slap and all that. 
so I made my face visible for them throughout the performance and I recorded and then I went back to my corner. Now, another key component make it happen. One of the most legendary MCs in Trinidad and Tobago hip hop. An eccentric character, erratic, unpredictable. Now he already had told me months before that Schooner had a distract for me that he had heard. Because Seth Gaines played it for him. So this is not me imagining something. This is a distract that existed. He heard it, it was played for him, and he knew about it. And so when he got on stage and he performed, and his exact words were, Schooner and St. Anne's need to report to the DJ booth, not the stage, now, because I've heard the distracts from both sides, and Schooner spit that fire. And then he backtracked slightly and said, Well, I never heard any St. Anne's, I never heard any St. Anne's. You could check the tape now, it's online. But this is the facts, these are the words he said. And so, when a legend like that call you out on stage, you have no choice but to go. So I went to the DJ booth, I gave them the flash drive, and I told them they could play my distract for Schooner. But then everybody started to try and change things up. You know, they want a live battle. They want to play instrumentals. And they're afraid to battle Schooner and this and that and all sorts of shit. But the point is, I am not paid to be part of your cast for your show. Your show doesn't support me in any way. And therefore, there's no way I'm going to freestyle battle anybody for free on your show. That just isn't happening. I haven't performed for free in over three years and I have no intention of going back to doing that anytime soon. So I told them to play the diss track and that's what I'm willing to do. I'm not willing to, to stand up on stage and create entertainment and hype for your show when you, you don't support Ant. Right? <clears throat> So anyway, long story short, Schooner had the mic, cussing, carrying on, the DJ Chump didn't want to play the track, he did eventually play part of it at a very low volume, they wanted me to rap over it, the mic low, all of that. I think everybody was slightly confused. Um, so eventually Schooner took the mic to big up his dad who came to support him at the show or chaperone or whatever he was doing there and you know he left the stage and then I left the stage and went my way to my corner and while in my corner now you know Mr. Schooner decides that he's gonna come to me push up his hand in my chest you know he's a little bit about wee high so he's switching me chest right and he's all ranting and raving about what kind of crab nigga shit is this and blah 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 all the while ignoring the fact that he made a distract for me months ago and he was telling people about it so anyway I, I asked him nicely where's the slap that you promised me in March he could not provide the slap I then said well you know my face is right there kindly provide me with the slap that you promised me in March he could not provide me with his love. And therefore, I proceeded to say, well, you know, since you're not going to provide this slap, what you need to do is go back to your corner and let your daddy take him home. And that, of course, made him upset. He's a little bit of an emotional character. And he started pushing his hand on my chest more, but he still didn't deliver this slap. And then his lawyer came over and decided he wanted to put his hand on me, and I, I had to gently remind him that, you know, personal space is a thing and then people saw the situation escalated and they decided that they wanted to de-escalate the situation and they grabbed me and I guess somebody grabbed school and they pulled them somewhere and they pulled me back and that was that so um, a lot of talk went around after that about how myself and make it happen orchestrated the whole thing with the DJs and that just is false like the situation didn't benefit me in any way 
I came as a spectator and invited guests with an album to promote and I had all of my album on this flash drive and I had already spoken to DJ Pun well not me but my partner had already spoken to DJ Pun to play two songs of the album and yet DJ Pun himself is involved in letting people believe that I orchestrated an ambush or planned an attack to play some this track for Schooner. I didn't really care about it that much. My album was coming out in a couple of days. People would have heard this track anyway. But I didn't plan nothing. Would make it happen. Make it happen is eccentric. He's unpredictable. That is known. Everybody knows that. We can't tell you what Make It Happen is going to do or what he's going to perform when he goes on stage. And that's part of the beauty of Make It Happen. But do involve me in your shit. Okay, cool. <laughs> 